What up, Dooski? It's your boy, Fable34. And today... One sec. There you go. I'm here with my reaction video to Doctor Who. This one is Season 10, Episode 6. How's it going, everybody? So we are, I think we're about the halfway point for Season 10 already. My goodness. I, I think this is around the point where we start getting into some juicier bits of the season uh, and our characters. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see where we go from here. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, guys, don't forget, in case you're interested in doing this journey along with me, then definitely check out patreon.com slash 34 in the description down below to get the full unedited raw reactions, early uploads, and more. So yeah, let's see where we go here with 10 and, uh, with 10, <laughs> with 12 and Bill. She went through a lot and they ended off with a twist of the doctor being blind. Still, we'll see where they decide to go with that. And with that being said, where's me water? Yeet! I feel really like an intense episode. Same problem. With over a billion intelligent species active in this galaxy alone, on this planet, we're proud to serve as executioners to every living thing. However, is a particular honor. This technology is precisely calibrated deliver a cellular shockwave that will permanently disable regenerative ability. I know how it works. You certainly will in a moment. The body will be placed in a quantum fold chamber. The sentence must be carried out by another Time Lord. Apologies for our choice, but your people are not easy to come by. Oh, the, the map? Yeah, <laughs> Missy. Doctor. What? I didn't expect you. Thought you'd retired. What happened? Oh, I see. My condolences. Oh. That makes the most sense. Missy's the one behind the door. Oh, wow. That seems really anticlimactic now that I think about it. If that actually... It's just Missy. They can't know I'm blind, Missy. No one can know. Memories are so much worse in the dark. Please, I'll do anything. Just let me live. I can't believe I didn't put it together that that was Missy before. Ever so slightly disappointed in myself. <laughs> we'll see where it goes, actually. Good evening, Doctor. We have come. Good evening, Father. I think this one has not internet or something like that. Can you... What's up? How come you... Could this one is sent already. Could you please send me a receipt retry? So the first message went through. Yeah. Okay. Can you cancel this? You don't want? No. How do you cancel it? Well, it didn't go through. Yeah. So it doesn't really even matter. Yeah, delete. You just, you just want to see it? Delete it, yeah. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because... Uh, it's gone. Yeah. I can't send it because of this. Mm. You can just connect to Wi-Fi. Huh? You can just connect to the Wi-Fi. That's okay. Alright, thanks. Dad, do you mind closing the door, please? He doesn't even give a damn. What's with you? Continue. Here are recommended at the highest level. The Pope? We got a Pope episode? Even better, Jesus needs him. As you can see, this is a personal recommendation of Pope Benedict IX. On behalf of every human soul in this world, His Holiness the Pope, the Bishop of Rome, request most urgently a personal audience. Well, if he's so keen to talk to me, why didn't he just come here himself? He is here. He's standing right in front of us. Hello. Ah, uh, the Pope. I'm sorry that I didn't recognize you there. Buried deep in the most secret of the Vatican libraries, text older than the church itself. The language uh, of this text uh, is lost to a life. Okay, so what's the title? Yes, I can see that it says uh, Veritas. Oh. Everyone who worked on the translation and everyone who subsequently read it is now dead. Step one that we naturally assumed. Uh, Assume nothing. Assumption makes an ass out of you. And Dumption Cardinal, one of your translators, is missing. They took their own lives. Will you read the Veritas? Please move that from here. 
Yeah, slightly didn't work out. <laughs> Second attempt on the way. Uh-oh. Doctor's gonna pop up. Did I hear voices? I thought you were going out with Harry tonight. Did you bring someone home? Yeah, I'm a grown-up. I can do that, can't I? Of course not. I have very strict rules about men. Probably not as strict as mine. Oh, hello. Are you Moira? Oh, you're a girl. <laughs> I'm Penny. Oh, oh, uh, oh, I see. Oh, I'm sorry. Terrified man home. Well, phew. Oh, phew. <laughs> right, you two. Um, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Yeet. Oh. Of course. <laughs> oh, my God, what was that? Dryer. Uh, pipes. Yeah, sorry. I'm just not quite used to all of this. Well, whatever this is, and actually it's not anything. It is absolutely nothing to feel guilty about. Che siete voi due ragazzi? Come mai sono finito qui in questa casa? Io pensavo che avevamo tornato al radi. That was the Pope. Bill, that was the Pope. Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. I... Oh, this is gonna be a twist. Oh my god. Oh, no, Penny. Wait. Huh? Oh. Doctor, <laughs> here's a tip. When I'm on a date, when that rare and special thing happens in my real life, do not put the Pope in my bedroom. Now I know. Gosh. Uh, doctor. Yeah. <coughs> in Italy. And what is it? Where the Pope is. It's a sort of uh, a reading aid. Have you requested a priest? Well, I haven't. Apparently I have. Greetings, sinner. Only in okay. darkness are we revealed. I never sent for you. Good is good in the final hour. In the deepest pit. Without hope. Without witness. Without reward. Virtue is only virtue in extremis. Things. Kind of sounds like Matt Lucas a bit. Above all, I love him. My madman in a box. My doctor. Oh. It's me, Naughty! Your missus wouldn't approve. How the hell did you get here? Followed you from Derillium on the explicit orders of your late wife, River Song. Warning, I have full permission to kick your ass. <laughs> Why does it have to be a secret from Bill? Because I don't like being worried about it. Around me, people should be worried about themselves. The moment you tell Bill, should it feel becomes guilty. real. And then, you might actually have to deal with it. Couldn't the TARDIS just translate it for him? Darkness, we are revealed. I regret, gentlemen, this consultation is over. Take a few more minutes if you like. Knock yourself out. Actually, do do that. Knock yourself right out. I'll be good. I promise. I I'll turn. I'll turn good. Please. Teach me. Teach me how to be good. Without hope. Without witness. Without reward. Doctor. Huh? What's that? I don't know. Look, it's, it's a uh, blue light. A mysterious light shining around a corner. Hello? Who's there? Library is forbidden. No, wait! Who are you? The Holy Ghost? What are you doing here? Jesus? Yeah, what's through that door? There's no door there. It's a wall. It's a proper nanny, if you ask me. Oh my god! What's wrong? I sent it. Oh! Priest, by the look of him, shut out the lock. Probably hasn't gone far. Doctor, look at this. He got bodied. Laptop. Hey, there's Wi-Fi down it. Look what he said. He said I sent it. Full sent. He sent the Veritas. And CERN have just replied. What they say? When do a bunch of scientists ask for prayers? The same time anyone does. When's the end of the very, world? Very afraid. Particle physicists and priests. Why all that guy? Wherever he is. But I guess the missing translator. Well, that's promising. Promising? Yeah, at least one person read the Veritas and lived. 
Mass suicides? Is that what we're doing? Go and see if he's all right, both of you. I think we know he isn't. Now, Dale, make sure that you walk in front of the bell. Oh, great. <laughs> you gonna read this? Oh. <laughs> I'm like, there's no USB port in the book, bro. <laughs> They turn into some sort of monster, though. Uh, uh, Miss Potts, I'm the only person you've ever met or will ever meet who is officially licensed to kick the doctor's ass. I will happily do the same to you. In okay, Bill? Adolf! Are you secretly a badass? Nothing secret about it, baby doll. <laughs> you know, I thought it was a gun, too, but it was too many, so I assumed it was like a weird looking key. It's gotta be a two-parter, by the way. Colonel Angelo, I could do with your help here. I'm not absolutely sure how this is going to work. I am your friend. I know I'm going to die. I have to say it, the truth. Without hope, without witness, without reward. I am your friend. That's it. On my oath as a time lord of the Pridonian chapter, I will guard this body for a thousand years. Hmm? Hello. Hello. Who are you? Do you have clearance for floor three? Of what? The Pentagon. I was wondering, I was like, where it was disconnecting? So it was just, they teleported the Pentagon. What? Yeah. what? Is this a, con a conspiracy oh, theorist's yeah. dream? What is this? How is this possible? Alien technology. Oh, hello? Laboratory? Uh, are you coming? Coming where? Uh, oh, we are on the cafeteria. You mustn't miss it. We all go together when we go. Come on. <laughs> so they achieve something. Go on, uh, heaven? What do we do? Oh. As long as you pay him back. I just borrowed from my future. I get a few minutes of proper eyesight, but I lose something. Maybe all my future regenerations will be blind. Maybe I won't regenerate ever again. Maybe I'll drop dead in 20 minutes, but I will be able to read this. Oh, he can't help himself. No, it's stupid to reject the precautions provided. Could you help me, please? This is... I'm so confused right now. I've read a lot of books that this chair would be quite useful for. Bobby Dick, honestly, shut up and get to the whale. Well, I'm right here, baby. Oh, it's the old, old story. The truth that came on my way to read that book. Two thousand years in the last count. Jesus no Christ! You're gonna stop me anytime you want. Why the play act? This is not a game. This is a game. Good, because I win. <laughs> and he's out. Your attention, please. I've been around everywhere, and I've checked everything. It's all ready to go. This is a mass suicide. I think. I don't know. This episode is honestly pretty confusing, but I feel it picking up, and my interest is getting higher. This feels like a really like drink the Kool Aid type of situation. The guns? Bombs! Bombs! Worse! Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Yo, this is a bomb ass episode. Like, what can spice up any situation? Nine times out of ten, it's a bomb. You should have got an audio book, bro. The sound effects. Ooh, sick of that one. Why are you doing this? You've got explosives. We're saving the world. 
Wait, what'd you do for four minutes? Did you deliberate? <laughs> there was four minutes. It was at five something. And it's one forty now, and you decided to come up to him after. We should go. Three, we four should minutes. Even run. Choose a number. Any number. Both of you. Now. Thirty-four. Say it. When I tap this table. Thirty-six. Oh, oh close. Seventeen. Again, don't stop every time I tap the table. Nine. Forty-eight. Sixty-seven. Nine hundred and five. Twenty thousand four hundred and sixty. Twelve. Are we say? Are we trying to say? Like, I don't. I don't know where we're going with this. I'm so. I'm honestly. It's, it's not even like like it's episodes bad or anything. They're just clearly going to be a two parter. By the way, they're stretching out the story. But I'm trying to. I kind of at a, at a loss here. I don't know how we're going about this. Um, are we trying to say like the world? Like the Veritas says the world's a simulation or something. So they're like, all right, fuck it. Let's just off ourselves. I don't know. I don't know. Four. It's a shallow test. Oh yeah, you said that, yeah. Oh, I'm really very sorry. Oh no, we're still going. Okay. What was that about? Those numbers, how did they do that? Ooh. Oh. Oh. You okay? No. No. Oh. Someone's been through here. Doctor bleeding out or something? Those things. What do they look like? Projectors. Exactly. Yeah. They're projecting our reality. Projecting everything. Those worlds, they're all projected. They are without a headset. Through there, those places. That's basically Grand Theft Auto. But it can't be. It... Whenever you're looking for new writers for Doctor Who, whenever that may be, I'll probably be done the show by then, or up to date. Throw me in the writer's room! It is! Look at the tech! It definitely is! Back in... Oh, oh, oh. I'm part of it! I'm part of the simulation! No! no. That's not a tech... Oh my god. Oh my god. I was not expecting a simulation episode. Did the doctor try that or something? It started bleeding and then went through the hole? Fuck. Oh my gosh. Is that the president? It was. Dude, what the hell's going on right now? Well, I listened to him. Listen oh, he did! Yo! Yo! Joking, bro. I need to know what's real and what isn't real. Don't we all? Don't play games. Tell me. The Veritas tells of an evil demon. Size, any order, and then turn the page. All the same numbers in the same order. Let's bring the story up to date, Bill. Imagine an alien life form of immense power <sighs> and sophistication, and it wants to conquer the Earth. So it runs a simulation, a holographic simulation of all of Earth's history to assess the abilities of the resident population, especially the ones smart enough to realize that it's they a are just simulants. This is, this, 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 this is real. I, I feel it. It's an algorithm. Er. All the simulated people are part of the same computer program. Bill, you ain't real, fam. Exact same numbers. You fake as fuck. N numbers. I, s I said them too. I know. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> no! <laughs> Trouble is, when simulants develop enough independent intelligence to realize what they are, there's a risk they'll rebel. They want suicide. Those were people. Deleting themselves. Control all. Escaping. Oh, escaping. It's like, um, Super Mario. 
figuring out what's going on. You shoot at in computer games. They no, think so too. No, what? They think they're real. They feel it. We feel it. Help me. Bill, what's happening to you? Save me. Oh my god. Turn me off. I have nothing. Not even hope. Without hope. Without witness. Without reward. Missy's gonna be the one to save the day? Funny. Don't believe much. I'm not sure I believe anything. But right now. I don't believe in my friend. Belief is all I am. Virtue is only virtue. In extremists. I take it that your intention is to invade the Earth. Consider this a warning on the eve of war. I am the Doctor. I am what stands between you and them. You are not the Doctor. You are not real. You don't have to be real to be the Doctor. Never give up. As you always trick the bad guys into their own traps. And here's the trap you fell into. Your simulation is far too good. His cleverness is too good. You see these? Let's set to the court. You are not real. There is nothing you can do. This email. This guy said email. I'm dead. Michael, you're calling at the wrong time. Michael, wrong time. I'm sorry. I love you. Bye. Wait. Sorry about that, guys. I just called back my friend and see because the video paused really is because I didn't want to lose the file. So I just stopped it. Called my friend. I went back to the video. So let's finish this off. Yeet. You can always email. I'm doing what everybody does when the world is in danger. I'm calling the doctor. Pressing send. And that's why he got the message popping up. It's an extreme. Yep. I'm doing it. Are you on a date? No. Are you sure? I think I'd kind of notice. What about Penny? Do you know a girl called Penny? Oh, well, yeah. Something very big and something possibly very, very bad. And I have the feeling that we're going to be very busy. Call her tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need you, Missy. Bye -bye. Of course she's not dead. She's a friend of mine. I may have fiddled with your wiring a little bit. You swore an oath. I swore an oath I'd look after her body for a thousand years. Nobody mentioned dead. You mm. cannot do this. According to my Omnitrix, it says... You seem to have a, an impressive record of fatalities credited to you. Keep going. He's unarmed. You are. That's hilarious. Always. Something's coming, Missy. And I'm blind. How can I save? Leaning on your closest friend. You know what? I'm gonna say I rate them for the for the commitment to lining up a really cool two-parter because the first half of the episode was just a little bit a little bit all over the place and a little sporadic. I couldn't tell what was going on, but once they brought in the whole idea of the simulation, uh, tying into the whole thread of this this person behind the wall or whatever was behind the wall and being missy, they took the risk, and I don't think it worked entirely for. I don't think it worked all the way, but. I, it worked enough for me. I know risk at going for a story like this to sacrifice all this like development and going through this whole entire story that's just gonna be like, oh, it's not even real. Uh, is is I, I rate them for it. You know, I rate Muffet for going for something like that. Anyway, guys, so that was Doctor Who season ten episode six. What do you think about the episode? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. I think the whole idea of it being a simulation uh, is gonna lead to a really interesting two part, and I wonder how it's gonna end up going. Missy's gonna have to play a big hand. This idea that there's this alien race that tested simulations on Earth and the Doctor, of course, to take over, I think is such a clever idea. And I guess you could attribute the wackiness and the randomness of the episode to it just being a simulation, I guess. Again, I really rate them for going for such like a, for such a, like a wonky idea out there. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how the next episode goes. And I love that, I, I always love simulation stories and stuff like that. 
right? And I think they handled this one interestingly. Like, you know what what, what would have been terrible, and I feel like the, uh, I feel like this is a mistake they've made with like previous two-parters or episodes. Like specifically that one episode. There was one episode that it was so jam-packed and abrupt ending, which would have made it a really cool two-parter, but they decided not to. So I'm glad that this episode decided to take its time, pace itself out well to be a full flesh two-parter, and especially one that's sort of like a mid-season with an important character like Missy coming back and the way they sort of just pace this out, played up a lot of the moments this episode. I appreciate the fact that they decided to make it a two-parter. So I'm really interested to see how this goes. I think the strength of this storyline as a whole is gonna really depend on the second half, because I think the first one did a serviceable job in setting up the idea with a sort of like, you know, pulling you off your rung, like uh, pulling you out of your under the rug, and be like, it's a simulation. So it kind of changes my perspective about that whole episode. That was Doctor Who season 10 episode six. what do you think about this one? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Did you guys pick up on that like I did? Um, that it was a simulation? Like I, I, I only picked up on it towards like the very end once it was like making no sense once they're all speaking in unison, right? Um, Cause that was like the only logical thing like those are your, one of the only reasonable explanations. Uh, but guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. But be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And again, guys, in case you're interested in getting the full Unhitted Raw reaction and more, then definitely check out patreon.com slash 34 in the description down below. With that being said, I'll see you all next time, guys. Peace.